Royal expert Dan Witten has slammed Meghan Markle as every broadcaster's worst nightmare after she was dropped by Spotify. The Duchess of Sussex was let go by the company after just one series of her Archetypes podcast, which consisted of 12 episodes. There were reportedly discussions to produce a second series, but it was axed. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. He said, it's not as if Spotify didn't try to get things going, they even helped build a studio in the couple's enormous Montecito mansion, of which their contract helped secure their mega mortgage. In exchange, they had Meghan hounding the company's top executives with requests for last-minute changes to her own podcast. In other words, she was every broadcaster's worst nightmare. His comments for Daily Mail come after the Duchess of Sussex was savaged by one of Hollywood's key players over the weekend. Speaking to Semaphore in Cannes, Jeremy Zimmer, the chief executive of the United Talent Agency said, Turns out Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent, or necessarily any kind of talent. And, you know, just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something. Earlier this month Spotify announced that it would not be renewing its deal with Archuel Audio, meaning there won't be any more episodes of Meghan's podcast produced by the streaming platform. In a joint statement, they said they had mutually agreed to part ways and were proud of the series we made together. There had been speculation that their collaboration with Netflix would follow suit after Dan Wooden claimed in his column that the streaming platform was not happy with the Sussexes' output. But the streaming giant has quashed the rumors. Prince Harry and Meghan's new project revealed as boss's brand ideas sub part, latest, a Netflix spokesperson told Entertainment Tonight. The bond with Archul Productions is one we deeply value. Harry and Meghan launched as Netflix's most spectacular documentary debut to date. Our exciting journey with them isn't ending anytime soon. We're currently collaborating on numerous projects, including the much anticipated documentary series Heart of Invictus. Heart of Invictus is scheduled to be released in August this year and will follow a group of service people as they prepare to compete in the Invictus Games tournament held in The Hague. The couple's history with Netflix has been mixed, as their explosive series Harry and Meghan was one of last year's biggest hits for the streaming giant. Don't miss! Meghan could earn £24,000 per Instagram post as the TIG blog tip to relaunch, revealed, Harry and Meghan need to follow Fergie's example, be quiet and work hard, opinion, celebs distancing themselves from flops Prince Harry and Meghan, report, it saw the pair lift the lid on their relationship and experiences as working royals and was watched by millions around the world. But another one of their projects, an animated series called Pearl about a 12-year-old girl who is inspired by powerful women in history, was cancelled by Netflix due to cutbacks. Meghan was set to be an executive producer on the series, alongside Elton John's husband David Furnish, although it was reportedly still in the development stages when it was culled. At the time the Duchess said, like many girls her age, our heroine Pearl is on a journey of self-discovery as she tries to overcome life's daily challenges. I'm thrilled that our Chul Productions, partnered with the powerhouse platform of Netflix and these incredible producers, will together bring you this new animated series, which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. David Furnish and I have been eager to bring this special series to light, and I am delighted we are able to announce it today.